Hello everybody, welcome back to the more stories, the path of destinies. Uh, jumping right back in, we have our choices here. Last time we got the armature for the Sky Ripper, this sort of massive weapon which may help us win the war. But now we have a choice. Uh, we could go see Zenobia. Mm, kind of like, it's similar to what we did last time, but I think it's going to be different. Or we could go after the heart of the Sky Ripper. So I think we're going to choose it that. It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. He looked up at the old trees around him. They were so big and so old. They'd been there before he was born, and they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Oh, what is that? Oh, was that must be the armature. Hunting his own unimportance. Uh, okay. What had cool. got into him? He was no philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero. And soon he'd prove it. Reflections. Isn't that nice? Look at those cool reflections. Now let's see what we got here. Ooh. I wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials. Thought Maybe a happen. sword. Oh. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That well, looks like where we're supposed to go. So maybe something over here. Yes, aha. Let's so always take the uh, lesser paths. Ah, still no workstation though. We need a workbench. Let's see what does this take us just back to the beginning or something? Where's this going? All right, just back over here. I didn't even see that thing. It was like buried underneath the grass. Come on, give me a workbench. Jump down. Well, that doesn't seem safe. And I believe this game should be available for you guys today, because this should be going up on Tuesday. Uh, so you guys be, should be able to go buy this game. Go check it out. Link is in the description below. Also, uh, if you continue to watch this series, make sure you leave a like. The views on this series are awful. Some of the worst views I've ever had. But the people that are watching are liking it, commentating, or commenting, and it's really awesome. I'll continue to play games as, as long as I'm enjoying them and you guys are enjoying them. Yeah, it's a little weird that they're not locked. Whatever. Uh, I don't want to there jump down there. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Are we going to have to fight a... Uh, what's it called Lord of the Rings? Ba Balrog? 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 Something like that. Big demon dude. Because we we got these endless pits. we got underground areas. It seems pretty close. We just need an old guy with a sword. So, who's your next of kin? Just wondering. Okay, we got one of these guys over here. Can deal with him. So I can just dash through him now to hurt him. Ha. Not taking any crap from you, nerd. Oh, block. Oh, that was a double counter. That was awesome. I hit this thing. I saw him coming, but I forgot to counter it. We got that guy. We'll grab this one. Shark want the cliff. I guess there was. <laughs> he never. They never make it up the cliff. I always kill them before they can there get over there. There were fewer and fewer trees. There are only these huge crystalline growths. Have those been here before? I really need health. He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest, the mice and rabbits. Where are they gone? And he was getting hungry too. I'm hungry. This I need was food. An unhealthy place to be. Oh, we got a shield guy. Okay. Let's grab this guy. Let's truck him. Ah, he got in the way. Oh, there we go. Now we can take out the shield guy. I really need some help. That's weird. I kind of got stuck in that guy. Come on. I really want uh, some more enemy types. Oh my god. I. Okay, I hit A. Renata remembered a fairy tale his mother had told him. About a land where only the apes talked. And animals went around without clothes. Hey, that's this world. Dodge. Okay, grab this guy. Chuck him at him. Yeah, so uh, when we died there, I did dodge, but it was during 
of the attack animation, so it did not count. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> just go straight through people now. Sometimes that's faster than countering it, just kind of go fly through them like that. Oh, oh, I saw that coming from a mile away and I did nothing. There we go. Okay, much better. Was it good for you? That's a little odd, but alright. Really need some food. Or a workbench. Give me a workbench. Oh, there's the heart. The twenty sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark art and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. More like the dark as quick bards. as he could, he yeah. wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels the drum. began to spin. That's a good word. Then glow. Damn. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Nope. Yeah. So that little symbol means I'm remembering he carried his of the other path now where Lupino uh, betrayed us. Move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Okay, so do we want to go uh, test the weapon with the scientists, or do we want to attack it on the Imperial outpost? Mm. Last time we went with uh, the more cautious approach. Renato had never Let's been do it. much of a student. At Swordfu School, he'd never read the books, just looked at the pictures. Hmm. And Zenobia. <laughs> that was but weird. weapons he understood. His gut told him that the Sky Ripper would work great. He would use it to take out the Imperial outpost. And what's the worst that could happen? The thing wouldn't work, and then he'd take it to the scientists. Right? Exactly. Or it would explode and we'd all die. In a horrible, horrible manner. Okay, I think we've been here before. As he set out down the path, Renato wondered why the parts of the Sky River had only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had discarded it. This Emperor, Isengrim III, had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Perhaps that was bringing up lost artifacts. How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. Okay, now I don't have anyone to take him out with. Okay, luckily it spawns another one in. If you can't, <laughs> I think it's funny. If you don't have anyone to throw against the shield guy, uh, it doesn't. It spawns another regular it was a soldier. Bit windy up here. So you can throw him at him. I mean, it makes sense from a gameplay standpoint. It's just kind of funny because I can like force the game to spawn more people. Give me some food. Ah, ten health. Excellent. Where the heck are all the freaking workbenches, man? I think I have enough stuff to make a new sword. At least I think so. Ooh, what is this thing? Oh, altar. And we have one skill point, so what should we use? Actually, oh, okay. Uh, so that way we can steal the shield from them. Or we can increase our damage when we dash through them. Attack enemy at any distance. Right, slow down time more and pay the enemy any sword when you cause damage. Let's damage them more when I dash through them. To do that. I kind of like that. I really like using the dash attack. Doing more damage with it just sounds like a win-win. Jeez, okay, there are a bunch of them. Dash, 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 what are you doing? Dash! Got... He got stuck in the attack animation. I was spamming A. Oh my god. That was dumb. Get out of the way. I saw it coming. I was like, oh crap. We're gonna die. This is the second half of this episode. This is awesome. Oops. Ah, dang it. I guess I hit B instead of A after I died. My bad. Well, this is interesting. So I came back, and this is a different... This is a different door this time. Because last time it was the green door. 
So I guess we have to take a different path now? Or was it? I don't remember. Huh. Also, we didn't, um... We didn't rank up this time. We didn't have enough skills. Yeah, we want to take this guy out. He's pissing me off. I can focus on the birds. Come on, you stupid birds. See this guy. Aha. This guy's going to attack too. Counter. Take him out. Dash this guy. Finished him. Nice. Yeah, so we don't get that bonus. It's weird. Now we can go across here. Okay. Yeah, so it's a completely different path. Interesting. Or maybe that would have been a dead end. We would have had a double back. Now the game doesn't really make a double back. He was tired huh. of slaughtering ravens. Maybe it was time to test out the new weapon. He turned a knob on the Sky Ripper. It made strange mechanical noises. The wheel spun faster. This is going to blow up. It began to hum. The Sky Ripper was following his every step. At least it acknowledged him as the master. But there was no trigger. How was he supposed to fire it? Fire, he said. Nothing happened. Well, maybe it just needed to warm up. After all, it hadn't been fired in thousands of years. Nah, that's true. Well, let's find someone to use it on. I don't think it's gonna go well. Ooh, or pinch. Okay, do we find any gems yet? No, huh? so I found any of these things. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, we should be able to make a new sword, though. Your sword, void blade, wind throne, fire essence. Okay. This upgrade to that. from the south was terrific for barbecuing sausages and ravens. Yeah. Okay. Now we can light on fire. Badass. Uh, can we not get over there? Something to grab onto. Huh. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get over there. Oh, new monster, new enemy type. What the heck is that? Watch out for explosive ravens. When here thrown, they will explode after a few seconds. Some to your advantage. Okay, so they will blow up. But I don't know how long. Oh, okay. So that's how long. Okay, stupid fire bird thing. Come here, you. Okay, uh, something just exploded. <laughs> I really need to look out for them more. <laughs> well, that worked. Okay. The Sky Ripper was making a whining noise now, oh. and its wheels were spinning so fast he could no oh, longer see them. It's gonna, it's gonna do something. Please, he asked. The Sky Ripper began to glow. <laughs> Boom! The outpost burst into flame. Ravens flapped out, screaming, wings on fire. <laughs> the base was you just have to be polite. The fire speaker toad That's nicely. hopping out. Renato! It croaked, sounding like a toad version of Zenobia. Don't use the Sky Ripper. It will destroy the world. Zenobia's a yeah, toad now? Sure it will, cracked Renato. Pull the other one. If you don't trust me, go see Calaveras. He'll tell you the same Why thing. Why is this showing Zenobia? Oh, she would say that. Did it turn? That sounded <laughs> sensible. Why did she it turn her into a toad? Sensible all the time. Oh, I'm confused. So infuriating. Of course she would say that. He was supposed to hurry and bring the Sky Ripper to the council so the rebels could actually win the war. But what if she was right? Damn it. Okay, so now we have two different options. She could. It says they could destroy the world. Um, screw that. We're gonna bring to the rebels. This once, <laughs> he would not let Zenobia get into his head with her logic and her wisdom. Who needs logic? Appeals to reason. He was a fox. He'd go with his instincts, and it would all work out like it always did. This is not gonna work out. I'm calling him right now. Like a reckless idiot, even to himself. But if there was one thing Renato could never bring himself to do, it was turn back on a decision he'd made. I'm the one making decisions. What are you talking about? Imperials were flapping and cawing all around the ruins. They must be panicking with rumors flying of the super weapon. Maybe they uh. hoped to find and destroy the base before he could put the Sky Ripper into action. The Sky Ripper was whining and heating up. It will be time to use that energy soon. So now what's the difference between the crows and ravens that were fighting and these little birds that everywhere? Well, are only some of the animals in this universe anthropomorphized? Or what's going on here? 
I don't know. We should probably charge our sword. I don't know how much to charge it. That good. And I don't have enough Yet. skill points. I think we're close though. I don't know how much I'm supposed to charge it, so we'll just like do all of it, I guess. <laughs> More ore. More ore. And I bet there's gonna be a fight sequence. Oh no, they got this thing. Anything over here? Oh, okay. Path void. Uh, that's a void door. We don't have a void sword. Yanking his own chain, doesn't he? Not quite yet. We can go back and open those fire doors, though, if we ever come across them. Can I go diagonally. I can. Haha. <laughs> Look at us go. Anything cool over here? He's gonna blow. Oh no! Don't don't stand. <laughs> I pulled him towards me, and the. We actually. I don't know if you saw that, but the uh, Skyrope actually killed one of the ravens. Get all the ingredients for a pretty nifty sword. Interesting. Ooh, we could do the water sword. I don't know, I'm kind of liking the flame sword right now. Well, let's go back and use this altar because we did just level up. And we'll do. Oh no, it did level up the hook. Okay. Or the dash, sorry. Uh, let's just in increase our combo in uh, d not what's, what's the word I'm trying to say comboing damage that's right throw him at him drop his sword burn him damn Skyriper doing work dude what was the movie you talking about this was a fantastic weapon she's trying to Ray trick you from fall for into flames with just a touch of its killer beam he exactly. Was to leave it on all the time, but mm, he didn't want to accidentally slice off some council toad's head or tongue. Mm, she'd been trying to distract. Oh him. man, okay. Well, this time the thing hurts. No one crap. was going to distract him. Is there any more food back here? Tiny bit. Yeah, I, I, I just shouldn't take chances with these eyeballs. They do a lot of damage. Is he gonna turn this way? Is he gonna turn around? There he goes. Who are you looking at? All oh, right, no one. Oh, luckily they're pretty weak, so you can just get them in one hit. But don't want to cross their beam. So we need to do a little bit of that. Nailed it. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's take out that guy. That guy. Oh, here comes one. Run! <laughs> I do want to kill all of them, though. And uno mas. Einsmith. Right, so that guy did detect us, but As for the gate, we were able to kill him before he well, did anything. You take her or leave her. Sorry. Oh my do. god. That was an amazing pun. <laughs> that, was, that was like my level on punnage. Ah! Don't kill the one I'm trying to kill, Scare Ripper. Come on. So we steal my kills. Okay, let's grab this guy. Chuck him. Ah, oh, we missed. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Right, there we go. Okay, I was able to hit that guy. For his shield attack. Pull back. That guy's gonna blow. Kaboom. Ooh, almost got us. Oh, the dash attack actually looks different now. I didn't realize that. It's a different color. Probably because of the sword. Awesome. Nope. What do we got going on here? That's scary. Wrong sword. Is that like an ice sword? I haven't seen that one before. I could probably use some health, but oh well. What is this? Activate? I don't even know what it is. So I'll activate it. Secret staircase. Awesome! As he headed towards the council chamber, Bernardo felt everyone watching him. You saved the rebellion. Oh, it's a rebellion base, that's right. Speaker. Frankly, we were afraid you'd turn aside to see that idiot Lapino. 
No, you mean the traitor. Renato told them, feeling he was maybe being a bit harsh in the poor mad rabbit. Screw him. If you never make kill this. He said, in the other life, you're probably not doing the right thing. The speaker nodded. Are you ready to lead the charge? Let's roll, he said, with grim satisfaction. Renato set sail for the fleet. The Sky Ripper had lost its wine. It was humming now, as if it had taken some time to seat properly. This is not going to go well. He had always been irresponsible. This time, he'd done the right thing, made the hard decisions. He was a real hero. He hadn't let himself be distracted by old friends or old lovers turned enemies. Which is exactly what we did last time. He could be proud it's of himself. It's funny how the game remembers that. He was ready. So was Sky Ripper. The Sky Ripper had a will of its own. It picked out its own targets and set them on fire. Now, this was going to be a short battle. He would set the ships on fire if he didn't need them to get to the Emperor. And he wondered if he'd see Zenobia, or if she'd flee. <laughs> Wouldn't she be proud of him? At least, a bit of respect? He'd become an all-conquering hero. Sweet. So I just upgraded the sword uh, to level 2. We could have done the ice sword, but I want to keep rolling with this one since we just got it. But it is a uh, maximum level now, so it should be a little more powerful. But we'll pick up from here in the next episode, guys, of Stories. The Path of Destinies. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Once again, really looking for feedback on this series since the views are so low, but I'd like to continue with it. I'll see you next time. Bye.